Welcome back. In this video, we're going to have another look at DexTools.io and we're going to show you how you can use this for tracking your transactions and for getting price warnings through the system as well. Okay, so we've headed over to the DexTools.io site and we've clicked on the option for choose your plan here, which takes us to this area of the site. Now you can see there is a free option available and it is quite good. It does a lot of things, but the standard version offers a lot more tools and options available. Basically, DexTools has all sorts of very useful tools and features that we can make use of, especially when you upgrade to this paid version. We're going to cover many of these, including how to find new trending pairs in the OG Crypto Founder member videos later on. But for this video, we're simply going to look at tracking your transactions and setting price alerts so you can be informed when one of the tokens that you've purchased hits a certain sell level and you want to know about it so you can sell and take some profits. Now to get in on the standard version, all you need to do is either pay $100 a month, which is not what I'd recommend, or hold a thousand DEX. Now at the moment, that is about $170 worth of the DEX token. So all you need to do is go and purchase a thousand DEX, put it into your wallet, and then connect your wallet to DEXtools.io, and the app will automatically upgrade you to the paid version, which is where you'll get all these extra bits that we want to use, such as wallet info and tracker, desktop mail, telegram price alerts, and limit order and trading bot. Okay, so let's look at how you can do that. So all you to do is click on the launch app button here and you'll end up on a site that looks like this. This is the actual app for Dex Tools. Now you'll notice I've already brought up the chart for Dex so we can see how this is performing at the moment and I can scroll down and show you more information on that and the latest trades going in and out for that token. What we're interested in though is being able to grab the contract number from here so you can see Dex Tools, this is the contract number for this token. Click on this and it will copy that address so you can then go and purchase a thousand Dex, put it in your wallet wallet, connect your wallet to this tools. So you can see here, my wallet is currently connected and I've got a thousand DEX. So my account has been upgraded to the paid version. Now, please bear in mind, you can purchase the DEX token on the Binance Smart Chain or on the Ethereum Smart Chain. If you use Binance Smart Chain, you'll probably end up spending less in gas fees. So that's what I'd recommend. If you are on Ethereum and you go to DEX tools, again, you can get the contract address here. If you've got some Ethereum and you want to use that instead, then feel free to do so. Just bear Bear in mind that you will pay more in gas fees. The really important thing to do is make sure that you have the right contract address for the type of coin that you're about to use to buy DEX. So only use the Ethereum address if you're purchasing in Ethereum on Uniswap. If you want to buy on BNB so that you have less gas fees, go back to the BNB chain, grab this contract address instead, and instead of buying it through Uniswap, you buy it through PancakeSwap.Finance. So you can find it on here and buy it through that using buy Binance Smart Chain or BNB. And that way, as I say, you'll pay less gas fees. The important bit is to make sure that you've got that thousand DEX in your wallet, then connect your wallet to the DEX Tools app. That way you'll get all sorts of extra abilities, extra features and tools for free, just for holding the DEX Tools token. Next, we're gonna look at tracking and transactions. First of all, I'm gonna swap back to Ethereum because the transaction that I want to track was made on the Ethereum chain. Secondly, I'm gonna to go to my favorites and in amongst my favorites, we have the link to Paybolt. So I'm gonna click on that and bring up the chart for Paybolt. That was a transaction that I used in an earlier example, and that's the transaction that we're actually going to track index tools. So what I'm going to do next is get the favorites out of the way, scroll down to the bottom, and when we get to where it says trade history, if I click on this icon here, this will let me filter the transactions by a particular wallet ID. So I click on this icon, I pop in my wallet ID, which I'm going to blur out so that I can keep that private. It will find that there are transactions in the history for this wallet, so I can then click on filter, select wallets and it should bring up my transaction for that particular token. As you can see here, it's got it. Now all I need to do is click on the plus here to add that to my transactions that Dex Tools is tracking for my wallet and it will keep an eye on that for me to let me know how that trade is going. Now next what I want to do is add a price alert because I want to be automatically alerted by the system when the price goes up to somewhere up here to let me know that it's gone up high enough that I may want to take some of my profits. So what I need to do is click on price alerts and we'll scroll back down so we can see this, click on add price alert. And as you can see, it's showing us the current price here. What we need to do is decide what target price we want to enter. Now, in this case, I'm going to go something like a little bit over 4x. So I'm going to put in 0074, which will give me a fairly significant profit on this token if I do decide to sell when it hits that. All I need to do then is click on add price alert, and the system will now alert me when this token reaches that value on the chart. So if I scroll back up, you can see it would be somewhere, it would be quite high up here. And as 
I say, it would be over 4X return on my purchase for that token. Now you can add more price alerts in if you wanted to. So we could actually have one say halfway as well if we wanted to take out profits even earlier. There is also the option up the top here where you click on the settings icon. And this is where you decide how you want to receive your alerts. You can get alerts in your browser. You can get alerts via Telegram and you can get alerts obviously via email as well. I've chosen email as my main one, but I do go for browser alerts as well. Basically the important thing here is if you are going to set up alerts, make sure that you've put in your email address and that you confirm that email address so that the system will get those emails through to you. If you do set up price alerts on Telegram, please note that these alerts, if they're not fired within 30 days, will expire. So don't rely on them to last more than a month. And obviously there are other settings that you can play around within the app settings itself as well. And before we end this video, there is one other feature that I'd like to show you on Dex Tools. Down the bottom, we have the option for wallet info. If I right click this and choose open in new tab, you'll end up on a wallet page like this. And this does allow you to add multiple wallets. So you can keep track of different wallets that you control within here as well. And it will give you a total value and your token list as well. Obviously I've blurred out a lot of in my information to keep it private. The other option here is to look at your trade history, which will give you a history of all your previous trades tracked through Dex tools as well. So again, very useful information. All of this is in the paid version, but as I said, you only need to buy and hold a thousand Dex T as a token within your wallet, and you will be automatically upgraded for as long as you hold those thousand tokens, which in my opinion is much better than the monthly subscription option, especially as at the moment, that is about $170. So it's a one-off cost effectively. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to let us know if you have any questions or feedback.